John's in Croydon, and you're through to James McGrory. Go ahead, John. Yes, good morning. Um, is it not time for the um, Remain campaign to actually get themselves a proper spokesman for the whole thing? I mean, we just had Nigel Farage on with his usual um, unchallenged exaggerations about what will happen, et cetera, et cetera. But there doesn't seem to be any consistent rebuttal of, um, you know, the things he says, like, you know, he said 600 and odd thousand settled here totally forgetting to mention that 300,000 left, or that sort of thing. It, I think that the, the Remain campaign needs to tighten up a bit and actually have a, a proper figurehead and not the Prime Minister, because okay. he's politically... Uh, let's put that to James McGrory. You need a figurehead. You need one specific leader. Oh, I'm trying my best here, here Nick. I've only, I've only, this is the first call. Uh, <laughs> I think it, should, it, gives, it gives a chance to get a couple of, a couple of points across. No, look, I would say the strength of our campaign actually is the opposite, that we draw our support from a huge range of... of people from politics and indeed from outside of politics so you've got the Prime but Minister. the box office figures Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage, well, are they not all on the other got, side? Well, Carl, come, come, come we've got the, pri- the Prime Minister He's of, the leader of, of this campaign. country. Well, actually formally the leader is um, a, a man you know very well, um, Lord Rose, the oh, yes. former yeah, um, yeah. Uh, chairman of Marks and Spencers um, but look, we draw support from business we have Karen Brady on our board, we draw support from all the main political parties, Conservative Labour, Liberal Democrat, Green Plaid, the parties in Northern Ireland the SNP are on our side of the argument Uh, businesses large and small, scientists, trade unions. We've now got five trade unions actively supporting us. They have six million members. I actually think it's a strength that we have a breadth of voices and frankly aren't always relying on on one figure like Nigel Farage. And yesterday in Haringey, these are two knives that uh, that were recovered and they were stuck. Thank you. If you pass them to me, I can hold them for one of the... My God, that's absolutely huge, isn't it? Uh, Now, the the second one, Nick, is... uh, So the blade on that is about four inches, isn't it, sir? Yep.